My name is David Arari. I'm running for the University Council, student representative position. And over the past about four or five years, I've been doing this project on UB's Wikipedia. Um, you might say, what does that have in relevance to uh, the University Council? But coming as an out-of-state student, um, I've learned a lot about the history, about the uh, really the academics, the prestige of the university, and I've got to have a viewpoint of the university that not a lot of people have. And I see the university with a faculty and alumni list of a U.S. President, Prime Minister, uh, alumni that are Academy Award winners, Emmy Award winners, Alter Prize winners, Rhodes Scholars, it goes on. And I've seen that the university doesn't really market that well. And it's funny because we just got the uh, office of the Vice President of Communications, that's a new position. Nancy Patton, who was just brought on in November, is doing a phenomenal job. But I'm already forming what I'm calling student advisory committees within the Office of Communications. And I hope to be forming more student advisory committees with the Office of the Vice Pro Provost of Enrollment to International Education, a few others. Um, there's a few big points that I really want to hit on. One is definitely communications, marketing the university. Again, like I said, there's a lot of alumni that have gotten here, but the research being done here, we have $360 million of research flowing through the, through the university. And not a lot of people know what has come out of that research. Not a lot of people know that the pacemaker was developed here at UB. Uh, my own research, I work in a lab called the Food Systems Planning and Health and Communities Lab. I'm working under a $3.96 million grant from the USDA, where we're trying to better farm viability and food access to the United States. And I get to work with award-winning policymakers, legislators, um, researchers on these issues. And that's really exciting. And there's a lot of people that are doing really awesome research. Um, I just learned a couple months ago that we're in a consortium with MIT and UB, so that, that's, that's great. Um, Another key point that I want to hit on is out-of-state enrollment. I think if you want to build your national reputation, you should be recruiting nationally, recruiting out-of-state students. Our enrollment is about 6% right now, but a lot of other universities like Binghamton University or UMass, they're 30%. And coming as an out-of-stater, I see UB being a gold mine. But people don't know about it. People don't get the marketing, people don't get the resources about it. So I want to form those student advisory committees, and I want to form a way of communication and collaboration with the administration to really work on that. That goes for the UB Council and, in general, the UB administration as well. So that's why I'm running for the student representative position in the UB Council, and I hope to get your vote. Um, what qualifies you for such a leadership position? Well, so I'm a junior. I'm a double major in economics and social trade, and I'm a member of very many different organizations. So I'm a member of Delta Sigma Pi, which is a professional business and economics fraternity. I'm a J. Scott Fleming Scholar. Um, I'm also a member of UB Democrats, UB Republicans, UB United Nations, UB Model European Union. Um, so I've gotten to see many different, uh, I guess, aspects of the university, from research to the clubs to um, the academics here. And I see, again, the stature of the university. Um, and so that's, I think, what qualifies me to do this. Okay. Um, what have you done so far to help uh, push your goals that you have set as a UB Council representative? Right, so I've actually sat down with the Vice Provost of Enrollment, Lee Melvin, and I've also sat down with the Vice President of Communications, Nancy Patton, and I've discussed these initiatives and I've discussed out-of-state enrollment, and we're forming student advisory committees right now with, again, the Vice Pro President of Communications, Nancy Patton, and I hope to do that further with Lee Melvin and a few other administrators as well. I've also spoken with President Chapathy about these initiatives as well, and he agrees. Okay. Um, another, one of the things you said is uh, UB is very segmented, and um, I think the student government is kind of the same way, and all the various student governments and student organizations. So what are you going to do to kind of make a more cohesive uh, relationship between all of them? Really, it's that communication, it's that collaboration between different schools and different departments. Again, we market our College of Arts and Sciences, our School of Management, our School of Medical uh, and Biosciences um, separately. We should be marketing the university, we should be branding the university together. Um, and that's really just bringing people together um, and having communication you know, across, across the table. Um, right now, we're branding in athletics the State University of New York at Buffalo, which I think is great. But at the same time, our administration is, is branding 
the University of Buffalo. It's a brand, two different names for university, that doesn't make sense. And I think that reflects the segmentation that has gone on in the university. Okay, do you have anything else? Is there anything else you want to add? Just hope to get your vote, and I, I really do have a passion for UB. I think it's a great place coming as a, as a student. I'd like to see that reputation be leveraged. I'd like to see the alumni be leveraged, and I hope to get your vote.